Oh boy, I can feel my childhood raging now. We're playing another Dr. Mario game! Oh! But it's not just any Dr. Mario, it's the one everyone forgot. Dr. Mario 64 for, well, Nintendo 64. Get the back here! So... You're like the disease, and I'm the placebo! <laughs> oh no. Watch out everyone, it's the best doc- it's the best doctor on the force! Also, Yoshi's story kind of arc vibes. Kind yeah, of. I can definitely see what you mean right that. So with that said, Dr. Mario 64 was rele released very late into the N64's lifespan, and I, funny enough, it was only released in America. Mm. Not in Japan. Not in Japan. Well, Japan did get a version <laughs> of it of, a version of it later, but it was on the GameCube that was paired up alongside with Yoshi's Cookie and uh, Panel de Pan, the one with the fairies. Okay. Now, Dr. Mario 64 has a story mode. Would you believe it? Wow. Huh. Not only does it have a story Let's mode, see. but, and I'm sure Logan will like this a lot, this game borrows a lot of elements wow. from Mario Land 3. Wow. Wow. One of those things is, you guessed it, Wario. <laughs> you can play as Dr. Wario. No, you, well, Mario's not a doctor here. No, just Wario. But Dr. Mario is also an option, but yeah, they both have their own campaigns, and we're going to do the Wario campaign for this look at. Whoa, hello right here. Ah, ah, achoo! Suddenly, flu season has struck. Yeah. And so Dr. Mario rushes about, curing patients all day long. Good for I'm already feeling a little off balance because my right ear is all weird. Yeah, don't worry, it's the audio quality. I, I had to do some magic, <clears throat> magic editing with this one. It's a me, Wario! I'm so bored! <laughs> and that's all the motivation we need, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hungry. Oh, my aching head. Help me, Doctor. Can Doctor Mario help poor Octo? He's getting out his mega vitamins. Now yeah. open wide. As long as he's got those, he can cure anything, even cancer. Oh, thank you. Mega vitamins. Ooh, I'll be rich if I can get my hands on those. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, there he is, Mad Einstein. Yep. Very same for Wario Land 3. Oh, that's who it is. Huh. Oh, that's what I've been looking for. Made of vitamins. Oh. What are you waiting for? Go and steal them, you clod! But yeah, Mad Science Time. That's right, he was the that's right, he was the enemy he was the enemy that would throw invisibility potions at you. No, no, that's Mad Science Team. No, Rudy that well, never mind. That's but what wait, I'm saying. he's leaving again so soon? Look, going into Dr. Mara's house, it's the mad doctor himself! Yeah, the guy who threw invisibility bottles. This is terrible! He's stolen the Mega Vitamins! But Wario sees him and says, Horny, you! Those are belong to me! Oh, they're acting uh. the same thing. Well, and let's go. Give me those that. back! Dr. Mario is back, but what a shock! The Mega Vitamins are gone! Oh, shit. What the heck happened? But Dr. Mario spots Wario and says, Thief! You won't get away! <gasps> oh, oh, wait, we didn't. So now it's a it's a battle between Dr. Mario and Wario in the best way we know how. Through Dr. Mario. But we don't have our vitamins. How are we fighting? What? Why is... No, he I'm can still use vitamins. They just stole the mega vitamins. Yeah. Okay. Questions that will forever remain unanswered. But yeah, um, story mode is essentially this game's uh, versus ver uh, extended arcade mode in a sense. Like, you're practically facing a computer computer controlled opponents through a good old game of Dr. Mario. I don't know if it's just okay. me, but something about this reminds me of that Mickey Magical Tetris thing you showed us years ago. It does have a very similar vibe to it, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I could be honest, like, sprite-based? This is one of the best-looking, well, sprite-based games on the Nintendo 64. And with that, oh, Dr. Ooh. Mario forgot how to play Dr. Mario. Oh, yeah, I was just here. I looked on the right. What the heck did he do? <laughs> I think I comboed him to death. Because oh, wait, that so is what happens when you combo people? When you combo people, some trash lands on the other opponent on the other opponent's bottle. It's a not me! I didn't steal the Mega Vitamins! There! That's a him! He's the one! Stop! Those are Wario's! What? Uh, you mean mine? Right, whatever. Uh Steve, you go ahead and get <laughs> Wario and Dr. Mario chased after the Mega Vitamins. There's a tree and Wario can't stop in time. Bam! Looks a million. Get ready! You're going to pay for that mistake! Uh-oh. It's the spearhead from Wario Land 3! Hey, the thing that spiked it. Oh, that's oh wow! All these enemies designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like I'm not, I wasn't kidding earlier. They practically like all a lot of assets in this game were from Mario Land Three, right down to the enemy designs. Wow! And they're all nice. the characters that you can play as in the versus mode. 
Nice. What are these Oreo nice. clips? What game? Are, what game are these from? Uh, actually, these clips are like the sound clips here are exclusive to Doctor Mario sixty four. Neato. Like Mario had, a, or, me, had Mar had a heck of a time with this one, as far as I know. He always has a time. He always has a grand old time recording these characters. Yeah, egg especially salad. With Mario. Oh. <laughs> Never forget egg salad. Egg salad. Wait, what's this again? But uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, no, it's it's a reference to how in Wario, where uh, whenever you're saying really good, in Wario World, or in, in, regardless, whenever you're saying, whenever he tries to say excellent, it sounds like he's saying excellent. Oh, that excellent! Yeah. <laughs> now the goal, now the, the goal for the versus mode is either one of two things: either you can have the um, computer have their pill stacked up to the bot up top of the bottle. I'm oh, sorry. Wario won't stop until he gets those mega vitamins. He has a spot of cancer that he needs to cure, but Mad Science Team stops suddenly, oh. and Moria slides right by, and... Oh my, he doesn't look very tasty. Oh no, I'm in one of those B-rated horror flicks! How do I get into these? Like, this is pretty well animated for a sprite game. Yeah, kind oh, of. totally. Like, it kind of makes smoothly. sense. It kind of makes sense why this game sort of got a like a like a re-release on the GameCube as like for that one puzzle collection. Oh. Though that being said, I kind of I kind of hate that that puzzle collection was only released in Japan. Yeah, that seems unfair. No, Always unfortunately, those that live in the UK were not graced by this awesome. Oh game. boy, looks like you and made a mistake. And unfortunately, here I kind of choked. Whoops! Careful! Oh wait! Careful! Can he salvage so that being it? Said, like, sometimes the sometimes some of the game's biggest chokes can end up being your best savior because it can lead to some of the most sickest combos. Let's see. Yeah, I was about to say, it looks like you're making a decent turnaround from that. Yeah, but um, as I was gonna say before, um, there's two ways to there's two ways to win in, in the verse in the nice. though. Either you, you clear, go. either you pretty much have the have your opponent like fill up your their pill all the way to the, pills all the way to the top, or clear the, clear all the viruses in the bot in your bottle before they do. Exactly. Okay. And all things considered, like it's fun. I mean, did, uh, especially when you have such nice imagery like this. Did uh, other uh, like did. Doctor L and stuff bring Dr. back this L. kind of versus gameplay. Oh, oh no! All the all the Doctor Mario games have uh, versus Luigi, gameplay you know like I mean. this. Sorry. Yeah, Doctor yeah. Luigi. Yeah, all of them have this sort of gameplay. It's just that Doctor Mario sixty four, I guess, just to be different in a sense, decided to make it a little more animated and have all these characters from a completely unrelated game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially since especially since I have to remember these characters were technically from a magical music box world that doesn't exist. As far as I'm concerned, Dr. Mario 64's plot takes place in, like, an alternate reality where Wario and Dr. Mario live in said, inside said music box. So I guess I was gonna say, like, do you treat Mario and Dr. Mario as separate, like, no. people or, like... Uh, not really. I mean, I could, I could, I mean, in this game's case, I could consider it an alternate universe, but other than that, they're essentially the same damn character. Oh, look yeah. at that. Nice. There you go. <laughs> Ow! What? What did I do? <laughs> but, um, anyway. Um, crap, there was something else I wanted. Oh, actually, yeah, I do remember something else I wanted to bring up. Uh, Dr. Mario and Wario actually face through different, um, enemies in certain portions of their story. Like, they do fight some of the same characters. Like, again, Mario and Wario fight each other, and they also fight the Spearhead monster and the spider here though after this point they actually start facing completely different moves like in wario's case he fights um he fights that octo character that dr mario helped help cure earlier on and he also <laughs> fights um that, that 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 weird red toad with the apples that makes you fat oh yeah uh, and then in, and then in mario's case he fight he takes he tackles like the silkworm that turns you into a yarn ball and he also fights that he fights that one boss fight that you have to puff up in order to defeat Gotcha. It really was. It was the one that you had to like you had to pump and pump and pump him up full of air and then he just explodes like a balloon. Oh, there I you feel go. Like I should remember that for some reason, but yeah. Okay, okay. It's, but that's it's a, cool. It's a good thing it ended right Who then is... there because I was about to say, "Devil damn, this match is going on for too long." So, oh, but there's more. That's the story, is it? Wait a minute. But they'll never make it this far. Hammerbot will stop them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Appleby. He's so happy. Oh, look out! Here they come. What a racket! And here's the oh, something I really love. Wario comes in with the fucking apple. Hey, give me back my apple! <laughs> like, ah, well, dang, dang. Ah, well, no, no, whatever. You get it. Don't look at good force in the mouth. So I'm just gonna ask right now, because I'm assuming you're not gonna show it off in a cutscene. Let me just double check. 
Um, Wait, okay, I don't think it's a spoiler about, about the villain. Oh, um, I mean, if you've never played, um, if you've never played Warrior Land 3 before, then yeah, the, the, the boss is I was gonna say, yeah, by, good. yeah, I was gonna say, but judging by the red nose and the voice that you're giving him. Yeah, it's Rudy the Clown. <laughs> he's back. Yeah, he's back, and he's sicker than ever. Quite literally. Oh, and that's why he wants the vitamin. Yeah. Actually, oh, dep boy. depending on who, depending on the scenario, like, like, it does end a bit differently. Like, in Mar Dr. Mario's case, like, the good, the good Samaritan that he is, he does actually go out of his way to cure Rudy of his uh, cold. I am Meanwhile, sorry, Laura's but... Like, Rudy, that sucks. Well, about... see you next time. I was about to say, I'm sorry, but if that's actually the storyline, like, Rudy is actually sick, it just gives me this mental image of, like, So it was all a lie. There's nothing wrong with you. Nice of you to say, but you of all people should know, there's plenty wrong with me. <laughs> What was that from again? I think that's a Joker quote. Arkham City. Oh, oh, that, oh, that's right. The freaking Joker and stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly, Rudy essentially is a more demented-looking Joker with big hands for fists. James, where is my where is my Fever Dash One theme song? Oh, that? Um, unfortunately, it is not. A, it, for some reason, they never put that in the story mode. They only use like the two ex, the, like the two brand new songs for the game. The, this one being. Um, Quay Quay and the other one being Cube, or Man, as they were called in later games, uh, Cough and Sneeze. Man, could have at least kept it for like like a big like finale, like Ooh, the nice. final boss. <laughs> but that said, though, uh, if you were to play in the games like classic mode, they do have those song, they do have Fever and Chill as options. Yeah, they're actually not bad remixes either. Hmm. I remember having the uh, I remember having the the N64 version. Oh, look at that trash block. Die. It is. Nice. But uh. But I was going to say, I remember um, playing, um, I remember owning the N64 remix on my oh, iPod at one point. Really? Oh. Ah, well. At the very least, I'm only, I'm only one vi one virus away from beating this, so just as long as I play my cards right, I'll beat this Apple B in a second. Yeah, he's got, like, nine left. You're fine. Just hurry. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, hurry. Nice. Good, thing for, good, thing for com good thing my combo game isn't crap. Yeah. That's good. Oh. And with that said, back to Applebee's with you. <laughs> I feel like I can play this better than Puyo Puyo. Oh yeah, Dr. Mario I think is a little more accessible than Puyo Puyo. Just because of the, 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 the there's a definitive um, goal. At the edge of That's the forest, go here coconut. goes a coconut. Then off in the distance, <laughs> <laughs> something's come up from the sea. Uh oh, it's Octo! You have to be punished! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, roll credits. He was drowned, roll credits, done. Now, if, it, if you were playing as Dr. Mario in this case, you would actually be fighting Jelly Bob. Hmm. But for Wario's case, he's fighting the not-so-racially insensitive, at least this time around, Octo. Oh. Oh, also... you, remember, you remember the original game, he was practically blackface. Yeah, I also I remember the think. fact that he's like, Oh, finally, I had my, oh, finally, I had my terminal disease cured. Things are looking up. <laughs> that's all <laughs> that's you hear. The, Wario. That's all you hear in the middle of the night, just... <laughs> <laughs> Wah! Ha! And unfortunately, I choked again. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, I probably peaked the mic with that. Actually, funny thing is, uh, oh, you know, now that I think about it, I choked. That should be a medical condition. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, funny thing is, um, before I recorded this game for a look at, um, I was just playing this game for the hell of it because I, oh, nice. whoa, nice. nice! I came out of nowhere. Eat that, Octo. But um, anyway, what was I trying to say? Uh, before I did this for a look at, like, I was just playing this for shits and giggles because I, again, I have a heck of a childhood with this game. Mm -hmm. Um, I was actually able to um perfectly play through this up until the second to last level where you have like a four, you have a four way fight against um Wario, Doctor Mario, Matt Seinstein, and the Hammerbot. Huh. And by that point, I choked pretty badly. That, and, pretty, that sounds like you get hectic. What the? Yeah, like, what the? honestly, yeah, he inked himself because I guess, well, anyway. Um, that must be the anime. That must be the animation for when they pull a move against you. Or if, they, if you pull a move against it. And there we Aww. go. Oh, he's puffed up. He's upset. He's swelling with, um... It's a shame. Yeah, he's swelling with shame. Unfortunately, though, that's as far as I'm gonna go with this look at because by the time I did the, like the other few battles, I choked pretty badly, and I'm just like, nah, I think we can stop there. But that said, <laughs> okay. ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our look at on Doctor Mario 64. Unfortunately, this game did not get a re-release on the Virtual Console, though I think that mainly had to do with the fact that um, they, Nintendo also released like 
On the WiiWare service, there was also Dr. Mario Online RX, which unfortunately has no online anymore, because, you know, Wii. Yeah. And, of course, nowadays we have Dr. Luigi, eh, which, well, he's actually on a console nobody uses anymore. And then you also got Dr. Mario Miracle Cure for the 3DS, which, in itself, is a good game. But with that said, I'm James May Extreme. Lucky Jack 20. And I am Dr. Wario, and I ruin no lives. <laughs> you know, funny enough, there is a Dr. Wario minigame in WarioWare Incorporated. Hmm. No. Oh yeah, I remember that. But we're not going to show that here because I think we've already had enough Dr. Mario for today. Till next time, everybody. Bye bye. Wow. <laughs>